What's up everybody, MC Murr here, and welcome back to another episode of Vintage Computing. With MC Murr, of course. Now, you know, in our first episode, we got to take a look at the Atari 1040 ST computer. And don't think for a minute we're done doing that. But, we have more than just that to look at. And today, we're going to be taking a look at my Atari 400. This thing is super cool. Now, you know, the 1040 ST, I grew up with that. It was my first way to play games that I ever had in my home. I never had an Atari 400. I never knew anyone that had an Atari 400. And I myself didn't even acquire this thing till I guess probably about 10 years ago. For about $40. I mean, it's in mint condition. She's beautiful and we're gonna take her for a test drive tonight. Not that I haven't done that already, but I wanna do it with you, the viewers. So much cool stuff that you can do with this thing. So much that this particular unit does better than the actual Atari home consoles. We're gonna look at that today. Now, this is where it gets kinda cool. This episode involves another set of YouTubers. The premier super power couple on YouTube, Do You Nerd. That's right, Tom and Lacey, fantastic people. If you're in our little happy network here, you're already very familiar with them. And if you're not familiar with Do You Nerd, I'm gonna leave their information in the description of this video so you can pop right on over there and give them a sub because you're not gonna wanna miss the fantastic stuff they have going on over there. These are some great folks. But they have sent me some Atari 400 games and these aren't easy to find. I find 2600 stuff all the time. And every so often I'll find some 5200 stuff. You just don't find this stuff. And they had these and they didn't need them so they sent them my way. This was sent to Attention Yeet. MC Murr. Yeah, there's no way our mail carrier could have gotten that wrong. These absolutely had to make it here. Oh, and uh, there's some information enclosed here. Murr. Glad to give these games a great forever home. And you have. We're also very happy to have found your channel. Likewise, we enjoy your down-to-earth reviews and your passion for old-school gaming. I do have that. Take care, nerdling Tom and Lacey. I'm telling you, these people are what's up. The YouTube power couple. Do You Nerd covers all kind of stuff from comics to games, VGM unboxings, Ren fair attendance, convention action. You just got to see these folks. Again, I'll show you some information in the description of this video. But they've sent some really cool stuff here. Let's see what we've got. We've got the official business card of Do You Nerd. Such a cool logo to go along with such cool people. It's only fitting that cool people have a cool logo. We're gonna set that right there. And we're gonna see what we have. We have a copy of Donkey Kong. And we have a copy of Pac-Man. Now it turns out I actually did have a copy of Donkey Kong for this system. But it's not this one. Atari was really big into their variant labels back then. And you know, I'm not that guy on most game systems. I don't have to always have the variants. Nothing wrong with it if you do. But on Atari stuff, I do. I'm that guy on Atari for some reason. I have to have the variants. And so, I've got a different label on the Donkey Kong that I have. Pretty sure it's the same game, but these are so cool. I can't wait to take a look at these with you. The Atari 400, the old girl's already fired up here on the memo pad screen. Some people might even argue that this was more of a game system than it was a computer, but look. Oh. Oh, that's just fantastic. The keys just feel so dynamic, that sound. Oh. Is your heart as happy as mine is right now? It says poop sandwich on my screen. Technology is a beautiful thing. Let's get into some gaming right now. Yeet Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong has so many variants in the game versions themselves, but this one was particularly interesting to me when I first saw it. The Atari 8-bit computers were stacked with custom co-processor chips which allowed for graphics and sound that far surpassed the available home consoles at the time. And this sucker has all the hits on it, so it's great and I'm already yearning to show you more in this series. 
but I was so impressed with the graphics and sound output of this version initially because knowing how old this thing was, I didn't expect it to be so much better than its 2600 counterpart. Again, until about a decade ago, I had never had my hand on one of these. I never knew anyone who had one of these computers back in the day. My friends had 2600s and the 5200. The Atari 400 launched in 1979 and this version of Donkey Kong on it in 1983. And right here, you're going to see this version really try to run neck and neck with the 7800 version of Donkey Kong, which released in 1988. So yes, the Atari 8-bit computer would have been the platform to play arcade hits on in the early 80s. The 7800 versions of the Atari Classics, of course, being the best thing I have to compare these to as it was their final system. And you probably don't need me to tell you or to remind you how rough on the eyes the 2600 version of Donkey Kong was. The 400 version of Donkey Kong was a big step up after a very short amount of time. So moving right along, shifting gears to Pac-Man now. And this is honest to God my first time playing the Atari 400 Pac-Man and it's totally decent. Great sound and once again looks light years better than the 2600 version which we ain't even going to look at because of course it's famed for being as horrendous looking as it was and yet I still insist there's a beauty in its simplicity but I don't know rather than get into that let's once again focus on how great this particular game looks on the Atari 400. I mean seeing these graphics in 82 must have been exhilarating. There's something particularly appealing about playing these well-known games on something like this that just seems exotic to me. You know, you think of Pac-Man as extremely common, but here's a version I haven't tried and that always excites me. You know, it looks very similar to the 5200 version, which also launched in 1982, as did that console itself. I still don't have a working 5200 in my collection. I do have the game, but I don't have the console, and it kills me. Someday. Someday. But for now, I am going to continue to soak up all this Atari 400 goodness. This is great. So there you have it. What fun gameplay and comparisons to be had right here on this Atari 400 computer. Had a great time looking at these with you. I want to once again thank Tom and Lacey at Do You Nerd for sending me these fantastic games to add to the collection. They will in turn receive a mer crate of equal or greater value later on. So you know you gotta check them out. Again, their channel information is in the description of this one. Subscribe so you can see what I send them. That's to be determined. And you're gonna love these too. I'm gonna tell you their energy is just infectious. I mean, what they do is so much fun. They're literally having more fun than anyone should have on the internet. Uh, this was fantastic though, and I hope that you're enjoying this vintage computing series. I hope you liked what you saw here today. There is so much more coming your way just on this computer, let alone the other ones that we have here in this fantastic collection. Can't wait to bring you each and every one of those episodes. This series is gonna be ongoing, and I hope that you are happy about that. I wanna know what you think about what you saw here today. I want you to leave me something in the comment section of this video because you know that I love getting a conversation going with you right here on the MC Mer Show, something that we do a lot of. I hope that you like this video and that you're going to drop a like on this video. Most importantly, if you have not already done so, I hope that you're going to subscribe to the MC Mer Show. Be a part of Mer Nation. We're rising up all the fantastic things that we got going on right here on the show. You need to be a part of it. Make sure that you smack that notification bell so you are always the first to know when new content goes live. You know that I love making it for you. More vintage computing action coming your way very soon. MC Murr signing off for this fantastic episode, and I will see each and every one of you again next time.